guys, it's Shimmy. So today we are going to make a fairy lantern. You've probably seen these all over Pinterest and um, on YouTube, but I wanted to make one because they're so beautiful. My friend made one for her bridal shower and it was so pretty at night to see the little fairies twinkling away. So um, this is a super simple project and let's get started. So you're going to need some fairy silhouettes. I just printed them off my printer. A jar, a mason jar, the top with the ring, and this is Deco's Arts Glimmer Dust, and then I have my Deco Page glue, and I have LED lights, which I got from the dollar store. They come two for a dollar, and I have some trinkets, which you can see in the picture, and some white tissue paper, and that's all you need. So first, you're going to attach the fairies. As I said, I picked these up. Um, I printed them off from my computer and then fussy cut them. Um, so you can just kind of look them up. Lots of the other artists use veneers, um, but I didn't have veneers, so I just used it. Just be very gentle when you attach the fairies. Um, yeah, but it's super simple. I did brush the back of them too, and I decided to use two instead of one because I think that it looks better with two. And just be very gentle. Um, on this one, I kind of rolled her leg up a little bit. I could have been much more gentle. But um, the Deco Page or Mod Podge or regular glue mixed with water, whatever you have, um, just be very gentle. And you do want to do this on the side of the jar that does not have the, the writing on it. So do it on the other side, okay, if your jar has writing on it. If not, then don't worry about it, okay. And here I'm just going to take my tissue paper and I'm going to put a very, very generous amount of my glossy Deco Page here and um, just make it very very generous and you're going to attach your white tissue paper and it is going to have wrinkles but that's part of the charm of it so don't worry um, about that but you can see that you can you can still kind of see the fairies you know coming through right now but we're going to brush all of it uh, with another coating of that decoupage glue and just very gently which I was not very gentle in this part, but you should be very gentle. Um, you're just going to brush the whole jar. And I started um, at kind of where the, uh, just below the rim of the jar, and I go all the way to the end, and I'm going to do the bottom too, all the way to the bottom. Okay. And just make sure you seal it very, very well. And here I'm going to start tearing off the excess. Okay, and you just want to do that very gently. And then I'm going to do the bottom here, so you just brush it with your deco page. Again, you can probably be a lot neater than I am, and I didn't cover the whole thing, but it's the bottom. No one will see, except for me. This is for me. Okay, and then I'm going to put a gracious amount, a generous amount, of um, my deco page glossy on there. Um, just to kind of make sure that the fairies really come out. Um, I do have a recipe too for DIY glossy um, medium too. So I will definitely um, put a link to that if you want to see it. Here I'm just using my tacky glue and I am going to kind of spread it around with my finger but you just want to do the top a little bit of the sides or the edges but not the whole jar and the bottom because um, if you cover all of it with glitter, you won't be able to see your fairies. Um, glitter can block light, so just be very careful. I just put it in a couple spots, as you see here, and I'm going to use the Deco Arts um, Glimmer. It's called Glimmer Dust, and it's a really fine, beautiful crystal glue. It's super beautiful. I just love Deco Arts products. They have great stuff, and um, this is one of their um, beautiful glitters and I think they have silver and gold too but it's just beautiful I wish you could see it like in person it's so pretty and here I'm just going to brush the top with gesso and then I'm going to paint it gold now you could skip this step if you wanted but I really um, wanted gold and I wanted a beautiful lid and ring to match how beautiful the tissue paper and the fairies were so this is just deco arts again um, gold acrylic paint and I'm just brushing it which is wonderful with a brush. And I'm going to also attach a napkin. Now, the paint does take a while to dry just to prepare yourself. Um, yeah, I had to wait like almost an hour because of the metal, I guess, with the paint. I don't know why they did that. But here I'm just taking my glossy um, deco page glue and I'm attaching a napkin. I got this in Happy Mail, which is fabulous. 
so it's like a little piece of my subscribers are with me and then I put a little bit of um, my glimmer dust on there and then I am going to brush just a few pieces of that napkin also on the ring just to make sure that it matches a little bit um, I tend to do that I like to kind of use the same supplies in a new way when I'm making something so I just attach maybe four or five pieces around that rim and just take your time be gentle I could have been more gentle with this part and then you're just gonna add a little bit of that beautiful um, glitter and then here I'm just gonna rip off the excess of the napkin I let it dry and then I rip that part off and then I'm gonna brush it um, with my deco page glue and I really love gloss I just think it makes everything pop out and now I am going to use my tacky glue which had a clog and um, I'm going to use this lace which I got at the dollar spot at Target um, super cheap for a buck and it's really quite beautiful I've been looking for a way to use it and this is kind of a vintage inspired project so I figured this would be perfect and you're just going to attach it to the very very edge of that ring just the very very edge so just add your glue and um, just cut it off and then here I'm going to attach a beautiful flower that one of my subscribers Donna gave me and I just have some fibers here uh, those little um, buttons I got from my friend Pam she has a YouTube channel fabulous artist and I am going to attach that to a piece of string I also have lace I have seam binding which Donna sent me again thank you Donna and um, yeah in a piece of string and I am going to attach um, my beautiful charms to that pe to those pieces of um, twine actually I got that from the dollar store and that one I got from Tuesday mornings it came in a little kit it was on clearance and then these little charms were in a package that Pam gave me so there's a butterfly and there's a key which is so fun it's great I got to use some of the stuff that my um, friends have sent me which is always a great thing and you're just gonna take it and you tie it off I mean it's super simple and I didn't tie a bow or anything I just um, left it pretty natural and then I'm gonna put my LED light inside and attach the top and the ring and that's about it guys hi guys so it's all done I decided to do a voiceover to make it a little easier but it's so pretty and I will put pictures at the end of it, what it looks like in the dark but as you saw I just put in one of these lights I turned it on you can see it a little bit hopefully you guys can I'll turn it over here. can you see that it's low in a bit okay for right there it's kind of hard to tell but it's in there and um, there can you see the fairies kind of isn't that pretty and it'll look beautiful in the dark so I just added a whole lot of embellishments I got to use some happy mail um, this is from my friend Donna which is great so she sent me that in a pocket letter and then um, she also sent me this too and then Pam sent me these or gave me these beautiful buttons so that's included in there and um, she also gave me these little button trinkets and the little key and I just used those so I'm super happy with this um, how it turned out and um, hopefully you'll go and check out all the videos by all the other amazing artists on YouTube um, there's a lot of small channels maybe that you don't know about so I would recommend maybe starting at you know the like page five or something to get all those little channels um, so you can see what they're working on too so I really love how this turned out thank you so much for being a part of this process don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button which is in the corner right down there it says click to subscribe and um, don't forget to share this video and I will see you guys next time hope you enjoyed the video and I will have another video too for this hashtag um, about fantasy art um, and that will post on Friday so hopefully you'll like that one too okay so please come back and visit me and it will have to do with fairies too I'm kind of in love with fairies right now so I'm gonna go with that for a second okay so I'll see you guys later have a great day bye bye